Huh? All right, today is the 16th of December. All right, we are just a midpoint crossing the December month. All right, so the thing is this, uh, just to let you know for those who are trading gold, uh, FYI, gold today as a CCRY formation. Uh, color change on the day chart, red to yellow. So um, I already have placed the buy stop level. So for those in the 3G group, you will have received the Telegram group uh, message from me. Uh, even though you're not in 3G group, doesn't matter. You should know what to do exactly for yourself, okay? All right, so let's just start the morning with our regular information of the market. Okay, let me just do that. Yeah, here we go. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yep, thank you. Okay, Angeline, understand. Thank you for the great concern there. Okay, no worries on that. Okay, 16 December 2020, Wednesday, trade with the boys, daily MAO, market analysis, and outlook. NASDAQ has hit new record high once again. All right, the NASDAQ has hit record high. Um, <clears throat> I, I've been very, very specific. I've been very, very clear. I keep on saying that NASDAQ will keep on going higher and higher and higher. Now, there will be a day it will break. It, there will be a day. But which day is that? Seriously, it's not for us to call. But as long as the trend doesn't break, it will still continue to climb. All right? So that is something that you must understand. And I've been saying that every every moment right, on this MAO. So let's do the disclaimer as usual once again. My sharing should be used as a learning aid if you decide to invest real money or trading decision are on your own. The risk of loss in trading can be substantial. And of course, you must carefully consider whether such activity is uh, suitable for you in the light of your current financial condition. Okay, All right. This is very, very important. All right. So guys, can you hear a disclaimer? I must hit at least half. So today we have how many people now? 92 people. So at least I need to have 45, 46 uh, to be uh, there. Now about 30, still ongoing. Right, I need you to hit at least half of the people here hearing me live so that I can actually uh, continue. All right, is that all? Okay, I hit 45 right now. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, thank you so much. Now, the thing is this, the Dow have jumped my 300 points this morning, all right, on stimulus optimism, right, as S&P 500 snapped a four-day losing streak. So what bring the Dow higher is obviously now, let me just bring up the news. Let me just bring it up. Okay, here we go. All right, the news is because the, um, the Apple let the Dow higher because Nikkei reported the company will increase iPhone production by 30%, right? Because now everybody's going back, you know, to work. Uh, there's a potential demand for that. I mean, I have my question mark on this, but I will not challenge, okay? All right, then the thing is this, of course, the main thing is the top four congressional leaders are supposed to meet at 4 p.m., which I think they met already. And it's all about whether they will they do the, the um, where is that? Sorry, that part there. So they're supposed to come up with that uh, stimulus package. All right, uh, where we go? Okay, where did, where did you go? Oh, yeah, sorry, here we go. The new plan for $748 billion, uh, okay? So this is the one that the market is waiting for. And if they, they really get that, there will be some, again, some potential upside. But I want to stress this, the market is buying ahead of this now. So as you know, in the financial world, Wall Street is always buying on news. No, buy on rumors, sell on facts. Okay, buy on the news side and then sell on the facts. So the moment the thing come out, right, there might be a knee-jerk effect. There might be a knee-jerk effect. And then after that, the market may actually go into profit-taking mode itself. So this one, you have to be very, very careful, all right? Okay, Fred have just informed us that, right, it has been postponed to 7.30 p.m. New York time, which is 8.30 now, la. all right, is it today? Fred, okay, I haven't read that uh, this morning, a bit of uh, busy this morning. All right, thank you, Fred, for sharing that. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, hello. Hello. Yes? Who is this? Yeah. Okay, are you not talking to me? Okay, got freak out. <laughs> okay, who's this? Okay, I knew everybody first. Apology. Okay, all right. So let's just continue. Okay, so uh, eight thirty a.m. Singapore time. So it should be ongoing now. So market may have some movement later on when the news comes out. All right. So let's just uh, continue. Um, where's my PowerPoint? 
Okay. So we saw the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones, the way it moved last night was somewhere like this. From the beginning, it tested 30,000 first. Then some profit ticket about 10.30 p.m. PM. Then after that, gradually, it started to go up very nicely all the way to high. So you can see that this is very clear. There's some buying optimism, buying in anticipation. So this is buying on anticipation. Huh? Okay. Error. Okay, there we go. So this is the Dow Jones recap of last night. Now, the day before the Dow Jones came down, we thought that it, will, it engulfed the candle, the, the, the um, doji. Then after that, next day, which is yesterday, the market go back up. I told you before, as long as the KSI is green in color, it's going to be pretty difficult for the market to come down. All right, I said that yesterday. And uh, look at the 15-minute uh, chart of the market. So basically, it gradually just basically trade, trade around the opening price for quite a while. Then after that, you can see that here. Let me just bring up for you guys. Okay, you can see here, uh, there's a BNB right here. Okay, and then after that, obviously the KSI was green in color. So the first movement, it hit KTR plus one. Then it went sideways for a little bit. Now when it was here itself, you can see that there is a reversal pullback. But once it comes back down here, this is where the main point is. The market went down below the opening price, but it stays above it. Now, this is what we know as touch OP, meaning the market purposely, like a trampoline, touched the OP and rebounded from there. And after that, you realize a very key point here is uh, that it's a KSI jump, which means that the KSI green bar is so much longer than the red bar. So this signifies a buying momentum has just came in from the boys. And after that, immediately the Dow Jones reacted in such a fashion. So that's why when you actually put all this thing together on the trade with the boy system, right, everything gets clearer. Okay. So that was what happened to the Dow Jones okay, yesterday, right, last night. All right. So that is the recap of yesterday market. Let's now go right into today's market. Okay. Now, this is the conventional chart. So you can see that the way the Dow Jones last night dropped down. Now, yesterday, I don't know, did I tell you this? I can't remember already. I did mention that if the Dow Jones do come down to the MA, it will actually have a strong support there. Now, I cannot remember did I say that, right? So if I did, if you remember, I said that, then good. If, you, if I didn't say that, I apologize, okay? But you can see how incredible it is. The, really, the Dow Jones came down, kissed the MA, and then rebounded. So if you were there, you were bought the low. Excellent, right? That is how it works. So today, will the will history repeat? Well, I'm going to put the MA now for us. Just going to put it there. Okay, so the MA number is about 29,900. I repeat, 29,900. 29,900. Okay. Got it? 29,900, huh? So as long as the Dow Jones stays above 29,900 this today, the Dow is still going to go up. But if the Dow Jones breaks below 29,900 and trades below, all right, and that will be some selling. Okay, so if everybody heard me clearly, can you key the number 29,900 into the uh, Zoom group chat? By the way, when I'm having this um, MAO, my children, my wife is just sitting opposite me. <laughs> they are all keeping very quiet because they cannot talk. So that's why I see the little sacrifice my family member do for me. All right, thank you guys. 29900. Huh? Okay, so that is the Dow Jones. Okay, that is the daily chart. Now, the trend line, I have to remove first this one. This one is no longer valid. I have to take it away. So I only left this. Okay, but the one on the top and the MA. Now, the 15 minute chart, you can see again very nicely. Okay, it comes down to my 50% mark level, and that's where it hang on on Fibonacci and then trades up again. So, as long as the Dow stays above the, um, the this point about 30,134, should be okay. But if the Dow Jones comes down, then I, again, I'll know every level what can I do. So, for those people who want to know how I get my Fibonacci numbers, you can take this one from the 27th of November, stretch to the uh, 14 December. All right, the FIBO number is always the same, 23.6, 38.2, 50, 67.8. All right, you can try this. It's a pretty good trading range to trade. So as long as the market goes above the line, you buy up. If the market goes below the line, you sell down. It's as simple as that. That is for very conventional usage, lah, very conventional. Now this one, I had to move up a bit higher. This is the average 
uh, medium. All right, the weekly chart, well, you can see, my goodness, <clears throat> the Dow seemingly known that this level is a very critical support level. And that's why you can see the Dow just refused to come down. But seriously, the last time we see something like this, let me just track a little bit for you. The last time we see a, a, a what do you call a triangle squeeze up, right? See like this, huh? a triangle squeeze up, right? It was somewhere around something like this, okay? So that is very scary. So seriously, we know that we are approaching the very powerful 20th or 21st December 2020. Now that one is, uh, as you know, is the great conjunction I mentioned in the last MAO. So seriously, as the days come nearer and nearer and nearer, right? And with the stimulus package now already, probably will come out later on. I have, I'm going to be very upfront with you. Lah. I'm not that comfortable to stay long. That's all my personal view. I am long on the micro picture, micro, I mean, micro picture day to day, but the macro picture, I'm getting very agey on this. Very, very agey. And uh, this morning, I realized that someone texted me on the site telling me that uh, some people are calling for buy on certain of the share, like electric cars. And they're telling people that this kind of, uh, the share price will go up by 10 folds, 20 folds, 30 folds. So now when I see that thing, if someone can tell you that this car price is going to go up by 20 to 30 folds to sell, right? You know, he always, tell, he always tells me that we are somewhere near there. Electric car definitely will be the next thing. I'm very sure the next 10 years, uh, we, will, we will not be driving anymore. The robot will take over. That's 100%. But it's only that how they drive, well, what sort of technology they are using, that's a problem. Like someone recently asked me about laser, the laser technology. Laser technology works, but the problem is that now the street on the road, sorry, the streets are so congested and we've lost so much extra stuff. It, it will cause a lot of problems. So it's not that easy. The, the idea is there, but the technology can be one tough one. So my personal take is this, just be more careful because this sort of triangle is really very scary. Okay, very, very scary. All right. NASDAQ wise itself, right? So I go back to my uh, this Dow Jones chart for today. Now, this is my trade with the boy system Dow Jones chart. Today is quite incredible. Today, the uh, resistance or the pivot one is 30245, right? 30245. And incredibly, today's high now is 30244, missed by one point, right? So it's a, not a trigger. I repeat, it's not a trigger. So you cannot use the pivot to trade. Based on that, it missed by one point. So what to do today? Now, based on the opening price of uh, in the middle between pivot one and pivot two. So if the market goes below OP and you feel like shorting the market, then you can aim it downwards. Then the downside potential, the downside potential can be this this price here, and that's two nine eight three six, which actually coincide with our two nine nine hundred uh, MA level. So that's why if the Dow Jones do profit take because of the news, you know then do watch out the Dow can come down to 29900 or even 29836. But if the news is spectacular, <clears throat> more than expected maybe, right? then the Dow, once it grows past 30,245, the Dow will go much higher. I repeat that. Eh? If the Dow Jones stays above 30245 today, okay? the Dow will go much higher. Okay, I repeat that, uh, it can go higher. Now, how high? Well, it's in no man's land. So maybe I just quote a number uh, out of the blue, right? Usually the, the uh, milestone will be 500 series. Uh. So which means that if the Dow Jones stays above 30245, the Dow can go all the way to 30,500. Okay, just a, just a figure of the air, okay? But of course, if the downside comes down, then obviously this the uh, 29836 will be the next one, okay? Now, but because of the KSI is also green in color, right? So the boys are buying relentlessly. So traders, I don't think the downside will be there unless there's some very negative news, okay? All right, all clear? All right. Uh, Fred, 29900 is near the KTR minus three, is it? Oh, okay, so 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 it co coincide with this. Let's take a look. Okay, so you can see right now live. See, once the market starts trading, right, all the numbers here, everything, the KTR minus one, minus two, minus three are all automatically compute for you. All right, you don't need to do anything else. You just have to <clears throat> enjoy this. So yeah, indeed, uh, KTR minus three happened to be 29895. <clears throat> it's very near to the 29900 level, right? So maybe uh, if I just draw the board, maybe the market really, the news come out, it may go up a little bit. Then after that, it may come all the way down profit taking. Who knows? Uh, maybe uh, this is my just any how draw on. Okay, but that is what I feel like, okay, that may be happening today. Let's see, okay? 
All right, so that is the um, the Dow Jones. Now the Nasdaq, this is the Nasdaq chart I told you yesterday. This one, I'm very sure of that. If I say yesterday, if the Nasdaq crossed 12,510, it will be a buy. Remember that? Those people remember this, can you key Nasdaq? Those who remember that I mentioned, if Nasdaq crossed 12,510, in Nasdaq will be a strong buy yesterday. Do you remember that? 12,510. If you remember that, key the word Nasdaq into the group chat. All right, only, only one Richard remember that. <laughs> oh my God, so sad. I got about how many people? I got wow, 112 people, only a few remember. Oh, okay, now more people come out. Evelyn, uh, Kelza, Yen uh, Ni, right? Okay, thank you guys. Thank you so much. So at least you all remember. Huh? Okay, so now what happened? So if this is done, then can this level be used as a spot? Yes, theoretically, yes. That means that now the market, as long as stay above 12,510, the NASDAQ is still going to go up. Okay, you heard me correctly. The NASDAQ can go up, right? That's a macro picture. But if the NASDAQ do pulls back below 12,510, then there will be selling. Now today, as you can see, because the NASDAQ went up so much, right? The MA had to shift also accordingly. Now the new MA level now is somewhere around here about 12,337, 12,337. So it's a bit far from here. So I don't think the NASDAQ will pull back unless there's a crazy movement like this, which we saw before in November, early November, where the NASDAQ came down quite a fair bit huh, over two days. Okay, so this is it. Now, trend line wise, well, because the market haven't crashed, I mean, go above the high here. So my trend line, I'm going to leave it there just for the sake of just see how it goes and develop, okay? But of course, uh, this is the chart that I show you. Look at it. Crazy, right? Look at it. This is the line again. The line that I have been staying with the last few weeks. The line that I never changed. And the NASDAQ is doing it for the one, two, three, four, five. The fifth day in a row. The fifth day in a row, the NASDAQ touched that level and rebounded right from there. So this is really crazy, guy. So Many people have been saying this, Cal. This line that you have, uh, is it by coincidence or just by luck or by whatever? I say that you can be by coincidence when you draw, but any touches it can be by luck. But I don't think my luck is that fantastic with five days in a row for a global index, right? So I'll say this up front here today is uh, right. I'll give you the number that's 12,467. 12,467. Okay, I'll write it down there. 12,000. 467, okay? So which means that this will be the MA level for today. If the Dow, if the NASDAQ stays above 12,467 or touches it, traders should consider to do some buyback of the shots or if not buy from the low, all right? You heard me? One, two, four, six, seven, okay? All clear, huh? NASDAQ, in incredible, right? Five days in a row, oh my God, okay? All right, so that is the uh, conventional. Let's look at the trade with the voice system technique uh, chart. Well, for the day chart for us, let's take a look. Well, the opening price, the opening price is between the pivot one and pivot two. I just realized something. My KCB and my uh, pivot one is identical. So one, two, six, six, four, and one, two, six, seven, four, around there. So if the NASDAQ continue to go up very easily, the NASDAQ will go up to 12,664 easily. I repeat, 12,664. 12,664, very easily, okay? The NASDAQ should go there very easily. All right, it take a really a difficult part for you to come down all the way here. Downside is 12,401. Look at the KSI jump. Oh my goodness, look at the jump. Oh, crazy, man. So that's why yesterday was a very huge jump, a very huge jump. I mean, there's not a buying buoyancy in the NASDAQ. Now, the last time you see something like this itself, you can see the NASDAQ went up by another eight, nine days, okay? So can the NASDAQ do the same thing? It is all possible, all right? It is all possible, all right? So traders, uh, stand by for this. Okay. Um, I'm going to just move quickly to the uh, Hang Seng market because look, many of the Hang Seng, I already tell you, Hang Seng will come down to this uh, 26,198 yesterday. I already said that yesterday, and really the Hong Kong came down to this point here. So, but yesterday the Hang Seng came down, <clears throat> then towards the second half, it recovered quite strongly. So I'm gonna say this again. If Hang Seng is to come down, it will come back down again to 26,198 again. Okay, it has to go down to this level. 
And if it comes down and close below, uh, only when it close below, okay, then there will be some selling all the way down to this point. And that point is 25,500 level, okay? Are we clear with that? It has to close below. If it does go down and recover like this, it's not that strong. You need to close below 26,198, all right? So how many of you made money in Hong Kong yesterday? If you made money in Hong Kong yesterday, can key the word HK into the group chat? Anybody make money from Hang Seng yesterday? Ah, Chelsea, you make. Ah, that's good. Cynthia, you make. Wow, very nice. Is that all? Only Chelsea and Cynthia. So the ladies, again, making money from the market. Gentlemen, where are you? I don't see you. No one traded after that. Ah, oh, so sad. Okay, all right. So only two ladies and myself probably. Okay, never mind. As long as you guys make money, I'm happy for you. Okay, so that is Hang Seng. Okay, so now we look at something very important today is the gold market. Let's take a look right now. Now, gold last night basically went all the way up from the morning to the afternoon to the midnight. Wow, all the way the gold went up. Now, these prices are all the futures price. Okay, it's different from CFD prices. Then, of course, when it hit about 1860, there was some profit taking unexpected. But then again, overall, it's all the way up. So again, people ask, is it because the dollar is weakening or strengthening? It doesn't matter, guys. It really doesn't matter. But I remember that you let, if the Dow Jones is up, the gold also go up. Remember that? I said that clearly. So last time the Dow is up, that's why the gold also went up. So what the news now? Well, basically now everybody is looking at bullishness again. Wow, the bulls are back. 1850, 1860 are critical. The bulls are ahead of FOMC. Now, FOMC meeting, you know, right? It's tonight, right? Okay, tomorrow, this morning, I mean, Thursday morning, early morning, the FOMC will come out. Likely, obviously, um, they will not say anything on the interest rate. I don't think so. But as you know, the, the, the Federal Reserve is a little bit still going to be a bit uh, dovish. So that's why traders just be very careful on that. All right. And usually when this, uh, when Jerome Powell starts to speak, right, you know, usually the market will take profit. For some reason, uh, it's always like that. <laughs> okay. So watch out for this movement tonight. Okay. Tonight, now. Uh, Okay, <clears throat> so the goal yesterday, you can see very nicely. I share with everybody yesterday. I say if gold stays above 1830, it will be a buy on gold, right? If you have made money on gold yesterday, can you key G O L D into the group chat? G O L D. If you have made money in gold, please key G O L D into the group chat. Right, JB, Richard, Andrew, Josephine, Kai Tung, Andrew. Wow, okay, at least some people, okay, Richard, huh? okay, making money from gold. Huh? Okay, very good. Okay, let me just uh, do a screenshot right here. Okay, just to make sure that I keep my reference. Okay, so the thing is this uh, why? Because yesterday when the market broke above the opening price and P1 is a buy, right? Now, the thing is this, buying at day high is always the most difficult thing to do, right? Because usually people like to buy low, sell high. But if the rules call for it, right, you just have to follow rules. So you can see right now, the rule says, as long as the market stays above opening price and goes above P1, then it's a buy from that moment. And you see all the way, all the way, go and up. Then after that, as long as the market stays above OP and P1, all the CCRY that's available, red to yellow, will be a buy. And of course, go went up again. Then if you follow through, red to yellow again, you buy, you make some money. Of course, to the midnight, I mean, at the low point, I mean, that's already uh, late in the early, early morning. If you do that, it'll be crazy though. So you don't trade this one, uh, it's too late already. But at least uh, this is the first wave. This is the second or third wave. And this is the fourth wave. And you can see last yesterday from the moment gold started trading all the way is winning, 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 winning. The difference is that you must know, doesn't mean that every day buy high will go higher. It has to be because of two reasons. It's above opening price and above pivot one. This is very critical information. If you just really just, just any old how buy, it's going to be a killer. Okay, that is wrong. Huh? That's very, very wrong. Okay, so let's look at gold today. Conventional chart first. Now the conventional chart of our goal today, well, look at my trend line. It seemed to tell me that there is a breakout here. All right, but we did see before in the previous example, whenever there's a breakout, about two days later, the goal pull back. So because of this reason, and some more, the, the goal is down below the MA200. Huh? Realize this, huh? 
is below my MA200, right? I would not be that keen to, you know, jump in heavily to buy gold. All right, but then I will look at this point and see the gold stays above the MA30. So I'm going to be the benefit of doubt. Lah. I will look to buy uh, both on macro picture and micro picture if the rules apply, give the signal. All right. So let's look at our chart right now. This is gold price, CCRY, red to yellow. So based on rule, day chart rule, above OP will be a buy. Stop loss level is here. Stop loss level is here at 1819 figure. So if you are actually uh, part of 3G group, right? You will see this now on your screen. You can see, I don't mind giving you a free bite on this, it's fine. So this is our uh, eight trade, eight signal trade. Opening price is 81853. Then of course I give you chocolate bar target is 1869, or 72, because they're all just around there. Then the stop loss will be 1819 without buffer. So this is the news given to you. I, obviously I inform you the KSI is red in color, is above the cash RL, no blue bars. Okay, KCX from 30th of November. Now, KCX is always based on the last blinking green color, not the first one, the last one. You can see KCX, huh? the last one. And of course, you can see that already placed in an order to buy a buy stop at 1854. If the market blows above it, the buy stop will be triggered. And then the value that involved here is a thousand US dollars. You can see that? Like, okay, this is something that you cannot lie about it, okay? So, this is how we do trading. We really show, we really tell you, then we let the market decide. Now, the only thing is that because the KSI is red in color, so you must do half a bullet valuation. That means that after you computed your, your, your lot size, you need to divide by two because the KSI is red. Hence, therefore, you can only enter by half a bullet. Okay, you heard me loud and clear. Half a bullet. Okay, so that is the gold market. And a quick one to show you crude oil prices. Crude oil is still going up. It's still going up. Very strong. Crude oil is still going up. So it has seemed to have a bit of resistance at $47.80. Now, someone asked me this question. Hell, based on what you're seeing on crude oil, right? If crude oil comes down, what will you be doing? Straight away, my answer is I will buy a lot of crude oil. Which means that if crude oil price do come down anytime, whatever reason, then after that, I form a base, I will be looking to buy crude. Because when a market from a bottom, and you look at the look here, when a market meet the bottom, you realize that right, the low got the low to low gets higher, right? Bottom to bottom is a very strong uptrend. Can you see that? So that means uh, crude oil uh, has the potential, uh, I'll say up front first. Uh, Crude oil has the potential to go much higher. And my forecast, I believe that crude oil will go to 53. If not even higher, it may even go up to 62. I repeat myself once again. I believe that another wave down, there will be a wave down for crude. Then after that, crude should be going towards 53, if not 62. Now, I don't believe that it's because of economic growth. It should be something else. Right, from the way I look at the way go, uh, the crew is moving, something is more than that. And I don't buy on the economic side. But again, I will not quote now. I will just tell you first, if there's a pullback, we will watch the market. If it forms a base with the MA200, then the next two target is here. Okay? 653 and 62. All right? For next year. Next year, obviously. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Clear. Okay, so that will be all. Let me just bring back my charts once again. All right, so that is all for today. All right, just to let you know, guys. Okay, oops, sorry. Okay, you can see that, right? We are 14 days away from my 1388 price. By 1st of January, it'll be 1688. All right, people are registering and they're coming on board itself. All right, so if you want to get this price quickly, get because a lot of people have been asking us, can they get this price? Can they get a lower price? I say, no, this price, 1388, is the lowest right now. Next year, in 14 days' time, it'll be 1688. Okay? All right, now this is Bitcoin yesterday. Bitcoin, oh my God, see, very beautiful. The Bitcoin yesterday, triple win, yeah? KCX, 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 buy, buy, buy. CCRY, 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 and yesterday, these are our trading, uh, testing profits, uh, not too bad at all on the testing side. Uh, for AIMS, uh, clients and members of us, all right, you will be able to trade on Bitcoin very, very soon. I will let you all know through the group chats. Okay, not to this week, but likely it'll be next week. And of course, 
uh, we will be giving out free usage of the indicator. I repeat, free usage of the indicator. But uh, you need to wait for us to tell you what the procedure is, and you need to actually uh, request for that. It's not auto, but if, if you request, we give it to you to try it out. Okay. All right. So before you go for today, let's take a look here itself. This is Roosevelt, the 26th US president. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. I really believe in that. If you are believing, you believe yourself, definitely you can be someone there itself. All right. This is the uh, food for thoughts for today, and that will be all for. This morning, I wish you all the best. Remember about Go and the Dao and the Hang Seng. All right, guys. Thank you very much once again for today's uh, MAO. If there are no more questions, I will see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.